Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to look at how to bond bunnies through desensitization by helping them get used to each other's presence in a neutral space um, where they can still run around and play but just have your supervision there to intervene before any aggressive behavior can occur such as nipping, chasing or humping. Um, just letting the bunnies have as much supervised time together and these sessions typically last a couple of hours a day, so being patient is really the key here. And in this video, we're going to see how Lorena bonded her two bunnies over the course of a week using this method. Prior to this, the bunnies were living in adjacent pens, so they were used to seeing and smelling each other. Okay, bonding day one. We have Ella and Charlie here today for some bonding work. So we just set up the bathroom and we're gonna go and get the bunnies. There we go. My bunny. And there's the second bunny. Good bunny. Here we go. We've got some nice food for you guys. <clears throat> Lots of grass. Some herbs from the garden. Very naughty piece of kale. Which we don't normally have, do we? But as a special treat, hi. Hello. It's okay. Shh. It's all right. It's all right. I know. There's a boy there. Hey, do you want to go that way? There you go. So they'll just explore this area first. And the idea is to just distract them. So just try and keep them calm so that they don't get stressed. Okay. You just want some hugging. Yeah. <laughs> Ella's jumping on me. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. She's sniffing all around. She actually grew up here in this house and spent a lot of time in this bathroom, so it'd be interesting to see if she can still smell any familiar smells. She was a bit afraid of him then. She actually they got close and she ran away. I think he might have been a bit nippy and she remembers that, so we have to we have to remember to be nice to our friends, don't we? Hey? Be nice to our friends. Hey? Uh-uh. It's okay. Uh-uh. No. Nope. It's alright. And his tail just went up so I can tell he's um He's a little bit territorial then. So I just have to keep a, a hand on him and make sure he doesn't chase her or then I can see it more on the camera. Still, but it's okay, he's alright, he's okay. He's okay. Good girl. Alright, so I'm gonna be the barrier. I'll sit in the middle. A good vantage point because I can sort of they have enough space to explore run away from each other but when they get close I can make sure I've got my hands ready to pat them and separate them if I need to and they they have to sort of get used to me as well and know that I'm not going to hurt them and keep them safe Sort of in a way, I guess I'm bonding with them too. Okay, so she's a little bit reactive around him, possibly because he's been a bit nippy previously. So she needs to learn that he's not going to bite her and he needs to not bite her <laughs> or chase her. So that's where my intervention 
attention is needed just to kind of keep him calm around her so that she can be calm around him and so that you can be friends see yeah. so I'm just patting her to keep her calm because also her running away from him can trigger him to get defensive too so we need to both stay calm don't we So they've got their heads smooshed together and he's got his tail up but I'm patting them both on the head. So I'm just going to keep patting them for ages now and this sort of tricks them into thinking the other bunny is doing it. I do it a lot at first until they start to relax more around each other and eventually you can be a bit less hands-on and they start to groom each other more but at first when they're both a bit nervous and scared, you gotta help them out a bit. I think um, basket bonding is similar to this. When you just put the two bunnies in a basket and you just pat them next to each other while you're watching TV. Sadly, I don't have TV, <laughs> but uh, I don't mind so much patting bunnies. Kim Cooney says, bonding is a very boring job. <laughs> so the Rabbit Sanctuary promotes desensitisation bonding. The less stressful method helps the bunnies to get used to each other in a nice relaxing way. And you can do this on a table or in a basket, but I just like doing it on the floor in the bathroom because it gives the bunnies a bit more freedom to run around because they sort of also need to get used to having each other run around. And his tail's down now, so he's no longer feeling threatened. Good. As you know, I really feel like bunnies can pick up on our sort of demeanor as well. And if, if you relax or try to relax and just keep things easy going then they sort of pick up on that and it helps them to relax too because if you're feeling anxious then they definitely absorb some of that energy so, so this is a little bit deceitful because both of the bunnies at this stage think the other bunny is grooming them I'm sort of tricking them into thinking that the other bunny quite likes them and is being subservient to them which they're both happy about. <laughs> but eventually, once they start to uh, get used to being close to each other without any negative interactions, then they, they'll start to groom each other. Bonding day two. All right, here we go. So we've upgraded a tray today so I've got a huge one now because this means I can share it without stressing out so much that they're too close to each other. There we go. Plop. Good bunny. Thank you. My assistant. <laughs> Hello lovelies. And we have some nice yummies as always. Got some fresh grass. Good boy. Fresh grass, herbs, no kale today, but we've got a couple of strawberry tops. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. You guys ready for some more fun times? Yeah. Ready for some more fun times? What's that? What's that? It's okay. It's okay, bunnies. It's okay. I probably need to sit in the middle a bit more just so they don't freak each other out. Good boy. It's okay, little one. It's okay, Ella. Good girl. Good girl. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Good bunnies. Good bunnies. Good morning. Fun 
Your girlfriend. Hmm? He's having some hay. You want some hay too? You want to share some hay with her? <coughs> Come on, bro. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Good girl. Now we're in the little tray together. Hmm? This is good. I've just turned them around so that their heads are facing the same way. It's a little bit nicer for them. So this is kind of like basket bonding, but in their litter tray, isn't it? Oh, Winky's just snuggling into him. She wants a friend, don't you, darling? So the thing about bonding is it takes time and patience and bunnies can be very stubborn but I like to think that I'm more stubborn than they are so I'll always win. <laughs> She's having some hay and he's sticking his head under her for grooming. Uh -uh -uh. No, 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 no. Oh, he just gave her a little lick on the head. Good boy. There we go. So that was good. So it's still early days yet. Um, so I'm still patting them together, but not quite as long anymore. And um, the session that we had last night probably went for about an hour. Um, just think that was a good amount of time for them. And by that stage, they were ready to go back into their pens and have a little break. So. <laughs> go, go this way. I'm just repositioning them. Whenever he sort of turns to put his head into her backside, I sort of just turn him around again. Put their heads together, facing the same direction. I'm chasing now. The instinct to chase is still there a little bit, so I keep my hands on him and pat him a little bit when he starts to do that. So I was sitting, saying last night, <clears throat> I'm sort of like a chaperone for them. It's okay. It's okay. So the more I can help them to feel comfortable to stop him from chasing her, she'll be less flighty, which again in turn will mean that he's not so triggered by her too. And it just takes time for them to get used to each other. Jumping around each other, eating hay, doing normal bunny things. Isn't that right, you guys? Hmm? Okay, here we are. Day two, session two. Having some grass and pats. This is my second attempt at this video. The first one was a bit dodgy. The camera was doing funny things. Um... So one really important thing when you are bonding is to be able to confidently pick up and handle your bunny. So with your bunny, usually I put one hand under their front legs, one hand under their bum. Under their front legs, bum, and then lift straight to my body and um, firmly secure bunny in my arms. And I can actually hold him with one hand. I've got his body fully supported with my arm and um, and when I put him down I put this hand back under his front legs my other hand under his bottom and I sort of put him backwards down on the on the ground so still got him against my body and then I put him away from me 
down on the ground. So it's really important if you're bonding to be able to confidently handle and pick up your bunnies. Mm -hmm. There we go. His tail, I don't know if you saw his tail then, is um, lifting up. So he was being a little bit territorial there. And she, and again, you can see his tail action there. So I just need to get them used to each other again. Just settle them down every time that happens. Good job. And also give her a comfort pack too. some pellets here today. Okay. So whenever we have food now we have it together. Apart from hay which they have unlimited hay. But all their meals of grass, pellets, they have together. Just to solidify that positive experience because bunnies love food. Don't you? Exploring. At least I know he feels comfortable with me and not threatened by me. That he's um, happy enough to jump on me. So again, just playing chaperone. And the last session that I did earlier today, I think we spent about an hour and a half just here in this room with the bunnies together. And it was all pretty good. Not too much in the way of negative behaviours, so they're starting to get used to each other and cohabit in a controlled and peaceful way. And hopefully that'll just continue and the more time they spend together, they just get more desensitised to each other and actually start to groom each other. That's what we're waiting for now. But the thing about bunnies is you can't rush it um, I've seen lots of people try and bond in very small spaces with stress bonding and very often the bunnies end up fighting quite badly and having severe injuries and I think often those kinds of methods can actually end up taking longer because the bunnies remember when they fight they get resentful and so trying to keep things calm in a stress-free manner is... Um, in my opinion, um, a much better way to bond bunnies. But you you just need to be patient and let them take it at their pace a bit too. Thankfully, I find bunnies very entertaining and lovely to watch. So even though I have to sit here for a long time now with them, I still find it interesting watching them and their behaviour. It's also how you learn about bunny behaviour is by spending time with them. Seeing how they it's all okay. It's all okay. She was a little bit worried about him then. <laughs> Hold his tail up. Interestingly, they also emit a smell, a musky smell when they're being a little bit uh, territorial. Don't you? Especially the boys. But the girls can do it too. The girls can do it too. Having some of Kangaroo Valley's finest grass. <laughs> Such a good food for rabbits. It's good for their gut motility. Very high in fibre, so it keeps any fur they ingest, keeps it moving through their system. It's also good for their teeth because uh, grass has silica in it which is quite abrasive on teeth and it helps them wear down their teeth that's why they need a constant um, supply of hay as well just to be able to chew and keep their teeth worn down anyway this is going to go on for a while so i might just stop the video again because it's um it's going to be much of the same really Bonding day three. 
Here we have little Charlie, ready for some love. Put you down. I'm going to go and find the little girl who escaped into the corridor. Jump over you. Hmm? Good bunnies. <gasps> Good girl. She's giving him a groom on his head. So I think we sort of had a breakthrough yesterday with the grooming. Um, after I squished a, just a little tiny bit of banana on their heads for both of them, which um, encouraged them to lick each other and. Uh, once that happened, they sort of started to think it was quite nice that they were grooming each other. Now he's lifting his tail up, so I'm just going to stop him from biting her bottom. Get the tail down. Get the tail down. Might actually get a little bit more. Mummy. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. Here we go. Good boy. Just encourages them to lick each other a little bit. Good bunnies. So as long as they're not um, being aggressive towards each other, it's okay. Oh, he's licking her now. He's found the banana on her head. Just a little bonding trick. If neither of them will groom the other, make them taste delicious. <laughs> Just get them started doing that. Good boy. What a good boy you are. And I don't need to sort of intervene quite as much now. So no aggression there, he just sort of sniffed her, wanted to see if she would groom him, which she wants to be the one that gets groomed. Usually in bunny hierarchy, the girl is the boss. Um, bunny society is a matriarchy, so the female is usually the top bunny or the alpha bunny. Occasionally it can be a little bit different, um, but in the majority of, of cases, it's usually the female that gets groomed the most, which means she's the alpha. But ultimately, you want them to groom each other so that they're both happy. And we have bonding day three. And this is the se second session of today. And, oh, now we're chasing, thank you. So, just basically spending three, four hours every day just with the bunnies together so they can get used to being with each other. Hello. He's a bit excited at first. Tail up. Come on, calm down. <laughs> you know who that is. That's your friend. Hey, are you going to hop in there and have some hay? You gonna have some, or do you want to cuddle? Maybe we'll start with a cuddle. Okay, we'll start with a little cuddle. Do you like cuddles, don't you? He's actually a very snuggly bunny and he likes a snuggle. Happy to be held. This is a rare thing. Most bunnies don't much like being held. So if ever one bunny starts to do lots of humping or chasing or just kind of gets a little bit wound up in that sort of not so great behavior. Often I'll just pick them up and give them a cuddle 
and it kind of just breaks that sort of cycle, distracts them a little bit and um, and then you can see now he's sort of lost interest in chasing her. So that's a good distraction technique or behaviour when you're trying to um, discourage a certain kind of behaviour that's not conducive to bonding. I know. Thank you. It's your girlfriend. Hi. And he might try and hump her now, sniffing her. Mm -hmm. Good boy. No humping. No humping. So I'm just going to pop him next to her. There we go. Good bunnies. Mm -hmm. She's just happily eating hay. He wants affection. <laughs> don't we all, buddy? We all want affection, don't we? We all want love. I just like using a hairdressing comb. This one's my favourite. It's a Goldilocks 56 by Crest with the metal tail comb. And um, it's just very gentle and nice for the bunnies. And actually surprisingly effective at getting up old fur. These bunnies aren't really molting at the moment, but I still like to groom just as a regular thing to make sure there's no dead fur and also just to get them used to it, to de desensitise them to grooming as well. Very important for them to be able to be groomed for when they are molting. Because fur blockage is a, a real issue. But also feeding a very high fibre diet helps everything keep moving through their system. There you go finished so these videos are probably <laughs> probably a bit boring now because the bunnies really just uh, starting to settle just sent, spending time with each other and it's just a matter of monitoring them making sure they're not chasing or nipping or biting or and just that everything stays friendly and happy and um Pretty sure these these guys will be bonded before too long so you just gotta wait it out a little bit longer until they can be left alone together and then I'll um, move them into at the moment they've got um, adjacent pens they've got two pens next to each other with a fine mesh in between so they can see smell each other but just not nip or bite each other um, so once they're a little bit more kind of comfortable together, um, I'll start to sit in their pen with them. I'll open it up in the middle and actually sit in there with them um, so that they can get used to being in their living space, their normal living space while they're here together as well. Quite nice, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> she's still a bit reactive. <laughs> His tails up again so still a little bit of um, extra time needed together so that they don't you know respond so so much to each other mind you she's she actually seemed like she was playing a little bit then when she just ran under the uh, the unit there so she's actually very happy and she did um she did lots of flops in our previous session too she did about three flops so I think she's um happy to be spending some time with a friend now. Bunnies always like having company. That's good, isn't it? So here we are, day four of bonding. We've just been in this room together for a few minutes. He's chased her a tiny little bit, but she's also licked him on the head, and he's licked her a little bit on the head. They just need a bit more time. They're not sort of, they don't really have a solid bond yet. But, um, We'll just keep spending time together until they stop chasing each other and uh, aren't spooked by each other. Now he's marking that little tunnel, which probably smells like other bunnies. Hmm? 
This is my like other bunnies. What a beautiful boy. Look at that bunny. He's gorgeous. Both grooming, ignoring each other a bit, which is good. He's nudging me. Which could be, you're in my way, or it could be, give me pats. You have a standoff there. He's giving her a little bit of a little bit of a groom there. Yep. There we go, that was good. All in all, doing very well for day four. Here we are, day five of bonding Ella and Charlie. And we've just normally we have a divider in these two pens but we've just taken that out so that they can spend this time together oh <laughs> still a little bit getting used to each other but no fighting getting some nice fresh grass from the garden and exploring each other's areas this is his so she's checking out his area and he's checking out her litter tray and her area. Just over there. And I'll just basically sit with these guys now for a few hours and just monitor them. Make sure they're not um, chasing, biting. And they can probably, possibly, very soon, just be left together in this big pen together. So once I'm confident they're not too reactive to each other anymore... I'll, um, I'll leave them in here, but I'll leave the door open so that I can just keep an ear out and make sure that everything's okay. And, um, yeah, they love spending time together and they've been really snuggly with each other and lots of grooming, so I think these guys are just about done now. <laughs> so that we need to watch. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, all right. No, no, no. All right, I better stop filming and get my hands ready to um, intervene. I spoke too soon, didn't I, guys? <laughs> so that wasn't that wasn't um, great. They're still a bit reactive. So there we go. I'm just going to hold his head for the moment. Mm. Hey. So we'll see how we go. Let's see if I can footage of these two guys who are snuggling. So they've been by themselves without supervision for the last few hours and there's been absolutely no problem whatsoever. It's okay guys. Oh, they were snuggling together. It was very cute. I think I disturbed them by coming in. But um, they're doing great. Pretty much bonded now. So we'll just leave them together for the next couple of days, Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday morning, they're going to go back to their real home where they'll start living together. So there we go. Another happy couple of bunnies cohabiting. And they'll keep each other warm and snuggle in the night and groom each other. Keep each other comfort, keep each other company, so they won't get lonely. It's a beautiful thing having bonded bunnies. It's best for their health and happiness. So here we are, day six, and these two, very happy together. I've actually just cleaned their pen as... There were wheeze and poos everywhere and this is very normal when bunnies are newly bonded as they mark their territory. Um, so that's something to be aware of when you get these two back home is they're going to be super, super messy until their bond is really very well solidified. 
but um, they're doing great. They've got fresh hay. They've massacred the apple sticks. They've got some pear leaves and water. And, um, yeah, everything's nice and clean now. So I've moved things around a little bit because they were weeing in those two corners. So we've put a couple of litter trays. We've just moved them down there so that hopefully they will wee there instead. Anyway, all good news here. Might let them out a little bit later for a run in the corridor just to let them get a bit of exercise and have a bit of fun.